29 days of Freya. I'll be the first to admit that today is not a very good day for recording for me. I am just not feeling like having my face in front of the camera, but I guess that's just one of those things, right? Today I want to talk about vulnerability and Freya, some of those kind of ideas, um, and how she's kind of giving the lesson of vulnerability. One of the main ways that Freya goes about being vulnerable or showing the lesson of vulnerability is obviously the nude nakedness <laughs> that we've all kind of come to know her for. Probably oftentimes why she's called a slut or I don't know, shamed for this. It's a part of that, that freedom, that vulnerability, that true self, that just not even thinking about it, just being. Um, and being in power of your vulnerability. And she really comes through on lessons with this, I think. Freya has come through a couple of times trying to give me this message. Oftentimes, I just don't listen. <laughs> Um, or I'd be too, too scared, I guess. I'm quite an introvert myself, and I'm very shy at times, so it is kind of difficult for me to just be out there and be very forward with my emotions or how I'm feeling. So it's nice, I guess, to have a goddess to really push me in those parts of myself where I'm uncomfortable. It's kind of interesting, another kind of key symbol that I see with vulnerability is also the moth. I think it's because they are drawn to this light, like it's the only light in the dark, they're drawn to the light and they go up to it and they're there in front of it, but being seen in front of the light leaves them more able to be caught by predators, I guess, or by birds or things like that. Um, so it's quite interesting that despite that, they still go in front and they try to find the light, the light source. Yeah, I don't know really why, but I always kind of associated them with vulnerability. I think it's hard, especially too, sometimes. And I don't know if it's just because I've been sort of depressed as of lately, but sometimes it's hard being in the spotlight or being vulnerable with your emotions, with how you're feeling, when you don't want to bring others down with you, or you're worried that it could bring others down with you, if they aren't necessarily, I guess, happy, fun, pretty emotions. Um, but I guess in reality, it's so much more of a relief when we talk about how we feel, or when we discuss what we're thinking, discuss the emotions, the thoughts that are kind of being bounced off the walls of our heads. I don't know, I think it's a lesson that Freya has been working with me diligently on, trying to help me to get outside of my shell more. And I can appreciate that sometimes, but sometimes it's scary. But I think with that being said, um, nobody ever said being vulnerable or being authentic to yourself would be easy. Um, especially in the line of craft that we work as pagans or witches, no one ever said this path would be easy. Or that things would always, like the answers would always be in front of you. Oftentimes it's quite the opposite and we have to go searching for our answers or we have to feel uncomfortable in order to get to the point, to the meaning, or the lesson behind it, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, those are just some of my kind of thoughts on vulnerability and the lessons that are tied in, I guess, with Freya. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos thus far, um, and yeah, I'll catch you guys in another one soon. Much love. Blessed be.